In this video, I'm going to try and provide you with a few different ways you can brace up a deck. And uh, this would simply be just by nailing a few 2x6s, 2x4s, depending upon the size of the deck or the span in between the posts. You know, if you have a post that is eight foot apart, you might be able to use a 2x4 here. If you have a post that is 14 feet apart, you might need a 2x6, something a little longer. And this is simply just installing one brace on each, um, each section or each side of the deck. Really not that difficult. And again, if this, if you nail the braces up on this, and it still flexes or still moves a little bit, then you simply add a few more, which we'll see in the next section of the video. This is going to provide you with a little more support, uh, cross bracing everything. And you could always cut off, I have the boards sticking past, you can always cut them even with the post. I just did it to make the video a little easier for me to make. Sometimes I get get carried away with some of these drawings and uh, I think of uh, all I had to do was do something like this. So anyway, here we have it. This is another type of system you can use to brace up a freestanding deck. If you're really looking for a nice sturdy deck, um, maybe you're going to be, it's going to be six feet off of the ground. Wouldn't be a bad idea to pour a continuous footing and build a wall and then put some shear panel on it to uh, to make it secure. Now this right here is a common method that they use. This type of construction is common for um, large decks that are high off the ground. Uh, let's just say something that's uh, eight foot or taller off the ground. It's hard to create a nice sturdy deck without um, the, when, when you start getting past um, five feet, let's say, maybe even four feet off of the ground. So this might be a solution that you're going to you could actually use and you'd probably need to paint everything or seal it somehow so that the weather wouldn't tear it apart and who knows you might even need to put stucco or siding on it you might need to do the whole um, finish the whole wall with stucco if that's what uh, the rest of the building has or you might need to put siding on it so that would be up to you something like this would uh, really create a nice sturdy deck now, you might also consider adding um, another wall. So one wall is not going to do it. I just put this in there to save me some time uh, in the example. But you might need to, I would say at the minimum, have one wall on one side and then one on this side, creating a lateral strength in each direction. This direction, this wall right here would help the deck in this direction. This wall would help it in the other direction. And when you put them together, it really creates a nice, strong um, uh, lateral, let's just say. Put, if you were to push on the post in either direction, it's really going to provide you with the strength you need. You might need three walls, and of course you might need four walls. Remember, these are just examples, and they might not work for your um, for your deck. Here is one more example. The braces at the bottom connect to the post, and of course you can see where I cut the braces on this particular design at the bottom. I didn't let them stick past. Now the braces should not be more than 45 degrees. Um, so for example, if you had a brace and you start from the bottom and you went up about here, created a 60 degree angle, then you're not gonna get as much strength. So I would guess you're gonna wanna be between 45 degrees and 30 degrees, something like that, I would imagine would provide you with the most uh, structural strength but uh, I'm just throwing that out there that is just my best guess pay attention to how I connected it here and again this might require a different type of this might require additional wood as I stated in the previous section 
And then, of course, the bottom, like I said, is cut here. You can cut the bottoms and then cut the bottoms on the inside. You can see how these cut in and zoom in. Now these cut and they kind of act as another brace. You can always put some Tico clips in here. I mean some A35s, um, some type of additional supports. You could always um, lag screw these braces into the post and of course into each other. You could just run it right through there. And then of course I have this, this isn't going all the way. You can run yours all the way. I didn't run this because I drew it and this is how it ended up and I am not didn't feel like drawing it again. So that's it for that. Here are the last two methods. You could build a wall and put some shear panel on, some plywood, and you could use a post or a 4x4 or 4x6 as a brace. And you can always connect the 4x4 or the 4x6 brace with some type of building hardware at the uh, points where you need it to connect. Now you could always lag screw it or use through bolts, knock yourself out. Just try not to weaken the structure by drilling big old honking bolt holes through there or drilling larger holes than you need. Now the wall would probably, probably wouldn't be a bad idea if you use this method to put plywood on both sides to prevent debris and stuff from accumulating in these uh, corners here. So, or, or put siding on the on each side stucco something like that and the drawing here that I have this does not need to be done in this fashion you can um, use this method here on all four corners providing you with eight total of the little walls that you would build here or you could use this method here uh, depending upon the design of the deck. You know, sometimes people are looking for a rustic look or something like that. This is going to provide you with a um, the best option. Some people are looking at, hey, I want this thing to be as strong as it possibly can. Then this might be the best option. Don't forget, you can always put plywood or shear panel, whatever you're going to use, um, OSB, on each side to provide you with even more strength. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area uh, and I will answer them as soon as possible.